Hi, that Paul guy. Um, today is a very sad day, and uh, for a couple of reasons. But it's, this isn't going to be a very long video because I'm basically doing this while I'm at lunch, and so I'm having to do this, and it's not going to be edited or anything. I'm just going to run straight through and kind of let you guys know what's going on. Uh, there's two big things, electronics-wise, gaming-wise, whatever, what have you, that uh, make today a very, very sad day. And the first one we're going to start out with was announced Wednesday, and that's that Fry's Electronics, the large electronics department store, I guess you could say, after 36 years, is closing. I believe Fry's. Oh, excuse me. I believe Fry's had 31 stores in nine states. Uh, I frequented when I was living in Arizona. I frequented the ones, the the two that were in the Phoenix area, both in Phoenix and in Tempe. Uh, I visited the one in Atlanta a couple times. One of the ones in Atlanta, and um, it's very sad to see that that store go away. It was uh, if if it had to do with electronics or games or anything like that, and even later on into appliances and, and if, if it was electronic in nature at all, car stereo, uh, drones. Electronic components right down to the capacitors and resistors, uh, motherboards, processors, uh, video games, PS4, PS5, uh, whatever, well, not so much PS5 and Xbox series, but um, any of the, the, the previous consoles, uh, it, it, there were some things that were completely obscure. You'd walk through and you'd go, what in the world are they doing with that? But you know what? They had it. And uh, it's very, very sad to see that company, after 36 years, decide to close its doors They've had to switch over the past year or so, two years, to a consignment type model, which did not work out very well for them. And then, of course, the conundrum uh, came into play and really just tore things apart and made things, um, for lack of a better word, unplayable. So, uh, to Fry's Electronics, I'm sorry, you were like my Disneyland. I would go in for sometimes hours at a time, walk out, and I might not spend any money that trip. And I might walk in, spend 15 or 20 minutes, and walk out with several hundred dollars worth of stuff. It was just one of those things where I could go in and I could lose myself for hours and I could get an idea of what I was shopping for. And then on the next visit, I might only be in there 20 minutes to half hour, but I'd walk out. I'd already know exactly what it was I wanted, and I would just go to go pick it up or see if anything changed. So uh, a very, very sad day indeed for Fry's Electronics, for people like me that were enthusiasts, uh, especially knowing that I can't go back and visit friends and go to that place anymore and uh, there is micro center which is uh, amazing but they do not have the locations available where <laughs> i might always try to go visit and it's very bit, been very difficult to get to them as well but um hey while you're at it uh, just just a thought micro center down in central florida somewhere i'm just saying but anyway it's a very sad day for fries electronics and uh i hate to see them go and uh, I'm, I'm heartbroken today because of that. The other thing that breaks my heart, NVIDIA. I've already made a video about this. Stop it, okay? Today was supposed to be the launch of the RTX 3060. For those of you that may have computers and may have something like a, a, a 1060 in your, or GTX 1060 in your computer, this was supposed to be the one that would finally replace that video card, the, the moderately priced, middle of the road, high type performance video card that was supposed to make everything worth it. NVIDIA even at one point came back and said, you know what, we're going to make this very, very difficult for miners to go back and perform their hash operations. So the only people that will be getting these cards, the only people to be buying up these cards will be the gamers. That they're going to make something separate available to all those miners uh, that would prevent them from going back and, and buying up all these cards. Well, a few days ago, another YouTuber, and if I can remember, I'll leave the link to him. Um, he showed on Newegg's site, as a matter of fact, that there was some of these cards available, and they would be available from anywhere from MSRP or the 329 up to about $400, which is very good considering that some websites already showed that these cards would be available for upwards of five or 600 euro in Europe. Where the retail suggested retail was supposed to be again around 330 to 350 euro, so we figured there would be a lot of price gouging. Well, when it was when things started showing up on American websites the other day, for instance, Newegg that had these moderately priced 3060 cards, we're thinking this is great. Well, this morning I decided to go take a look, and I went to Newegg, and. Uh, 
not a 60, not a single RTX 3060 on the page. I looked for it. Some 3060 TIs that are obviously sold out and overpriced, but not a single RTX 3060 in the bunch. So NVIDIA just, just, I mean, I don't know what happened. If you did not end up supplying like you thought you were supposed to supply or if Newegg for some reason took those items off the website yesterday, as, as, as soon as yesterday, I looked. They were on the website with no price. Two days ago, they were on the website with prices. Today, nothing at all. So uh, the only thing that, that I can tell NVIDIA or from just the little old small YouTube channel, stop it. This is like you're having an argument with a loved one. And you know that you're right. And you know that you could just get them to see your point if you keep on trying to give them your side of the argument. The problem is you're just making it worse. Every time you open your mouth and say something, it makes the situation worse. Every time you put, try to put out something new or you try to say, hey, but we're going to fix it. Hey, but we're going to such and such. Hey, but we're going to... You might in your mind and the company-wide believe that you are right. And you might be. But right now, we're tired of hearing it. We're tired of hearing your voice. You're just making it worse. So stop. Give us time to cool off. We'll let you know when, we, when we're all right. We'll come back out of the bedroom and we won't be quite as mad at you as we are right now. And maybe things will be better. Anyway, um, that's all I got. Like I said, I got to make this short. I got other things coming up. Like um, you guys saw me unboxing the Raspberry Pi the other day. If not, um, then you know, check out the video. But I think it's up over here. Um, I'm going to be putting that together, installing the operating system and all that stuff, getting that ready to go. I did get my uh, Corsair 4000 case. So I'll be transferring some things in there and doing that build, moving some stuff around. So that will be upcoming. And um, maybe even some follow-up on stuff like this. Who knows? Uh, I'm also going to let you guys know how some of my uh, friends of the channel are doing and what they're up to. So that will be coming soon. So it, it should be a busy next couple of weeks, I, I hope. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop this so I can get it edited and posted while I'm still on my lunch. And uh, that's all I got. So if you, know, you can like, subscribe, share, do all those good YouTube things. I'd appreciate it if you do. And uh, until next time, folks. That's all I got, so I'll see you later.